So 3D printing does have the capability to produce final finished consumer products and to do it at scale, which a lot of people don't really realize. But whenever creating a product for 3D printing, you have to understand what the process is actually able to do and design for that process so that you can create something not only similar to what everybody else has, but something completely different that can give you all kinds of new capabilities. So let's go ahead and break down the actual design of this tumbler right here, and then we'll get into some of the secret sauce that makes it really, really special. First of all, when designing a tumbler like this, the first thing you have to look at is the actual exterior design. How do you make it reliable and durable? How can you also make it printable? And within that, it's really just making sure that it's simple and making sure that all the overhangs are good. So on this, what we did is number one, the handle blends into the sides very well. We would actually also probably make this grip thicker so that you have a larger grip area and also a stronger relationship. This chamfered edge makes sure that's strong and reliable over here so you don't have to worry about it being soft or wimpy whenever you're using it and whenever it's full of whatever your favorite cup of joe is but the outside of it as a whole is actually designed to be easily ejectable from a machine so the bottom has a good small chamfer around the outer edge and the rest of it is very monolithic and blends into itself so there's no overhangs or that kind of thing you wouldn't want to replicate a design of like a stanley cup because those straight overhangs right there would cause support material underneath that would just look gross and create a bad quality product but then often many people would then look at you and say, well, that's plastic. How can you possibly make a tumbler out of that? You gotta put hot and cold liquids inside of there. Well, that's totally true. And you never want to have a plastic part like that. It's kind of chintzy anyhow. So what we went ahead and did was design it around a stainless steel inner liner. This liner is able to be removed so that it can be washed inside of a dishwasher, but then easily returned to the insulating ring and the main handle. Now, you're gonna say, ah, oh, well, what's so great about this? The Stanley cups and those kind of things are vacuum sealed. It doesn't really matter. Insulation is the transfer of heat through an air pocket. And sure, a vacuum is great, but it's really not that good, especially when the entire vessel is steel so that it will conduct up and over the edges. Having true insulation, where you have pockets of air and actually foam in between creates a very good insulating barrier. So what we did was we printed this one, particularly in PET-G, which allowed us to make sure that it can take all of the temperatures and all of the abuse of your normal day-to-day -day life. But inside of this, unlike any other manufacturing process, we're able to create those pockets. We're able to create an infill pattern where there is not direct heat transfer. It would take a very long time for heat and temperature to transfer through this thermal barrier. And it's able to be as thick or as thin as we want it to in order to get just the right kind of performance that you could possibly want for something like a thermos that you're gonna carry around. And this has never been possible before. Changing the properties of a material and giving it kind of macroscopic structures has only been possible since 3D printing made it possible. And now that you can do it at scale, you can produce those types of items at scale. You can take a generic type of plastic and turn it into a better insulator because you're able to engrave this insulating property into it by the mechanical properties that you can create. The fact that it's 3D printed also allows you to modify it. Of course, in this example, all we did was put the Slant 3D logo on there, but what you can actually also do is change the shape and design of this. You can make it faceted, you can make it bulbous, you can do whatever you want. You can create styles and variations other than just changing the color and saying, oh, we got this green and we got this green, ain't we great? You can move on from that and create some really interesting types of products. And the great benefit of this is that you do not have tooling startup. All you had to do was create the 3D model to create it. And then many people would point to us and say, oh, Gabe, what about the durability? How would you be able to deal with this? How could that possibly hold up to it? It's 3D printed. Well, this is 3D printed. This is an aluminum bar. Let's see you do that with one of your stainless steel Stanley cups. There's nothing. The reason for that is this one is actually printed out of a rubber. Being able to use a plastic and a polymer lets you create something really freaking durable. So you can drop it, it can fall, it can be whacked. You, the kids can throw it around in the back of the car and you don't have to worry about it. We've actually made a superior product to the metal options that have been out there. And then finally, if that was not enough, not only are you able to adjust the actual shape of the part, but you can change the finish. This one has a gloss finish, whereas this one has a matted muted finish because we introduced just a little bit of noise onto the part so that it gets this really beautiful kind of peened surface that actually is very difficult to manufacture any other way too. Generally, it would be done through some sort of painting, but the part is able to come off the machine just like this. 
So we were able to go from a concept to a finished, final, viable product that is better than some of the options out there in many different ways and allows you to customize and adapt and change it and grow it and pick a product that customers actually want all without paying for tooling costs or without having to deal with overseas shipping or the long-term problems of inventory of this kind of stuff because the warehousing for a bulky part like this is atrocious. Whereas if you simply plug in your site to a place like Slant3D, we can just print the part and ship it out directly to your customer without you having to worry about the storage. It's a warehouse where the shelves make the product. And in order to kind of put our money where our mouth is and show how this can be done, we are actually selling these. You can get a full and complete Slant 3D tumbler from us right now over on our e-commerce site angled.io. You can also download the files, print one yourself, and get all the parts and pieces and the liners available yourself as well. Or purchase one directly from us. We finally got merch, guys. But really we wanted to do this to show how incredibly accessible it now is to create a product that is not just good, but arguably sometimes just a little bit better than whatever else exists out there right now. Because since you're able to use printing, you're able to create original products that are totally new and different, completely original, and have capabilities that have never been possible before. So if you're interested in a good cup of joe that's well insulated, durable, reliable, and just looks great, go ahead and get your own big dumb cup from Angled.io. Check out the link down in the description and have a great day, everybody.